Hello and welcome to Euchromedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to fit to comp size expression. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so here we are in After Effects and for this example, I have an image of my kids and this shape layer right here. And by the way, this shape layer is an adjustment layer and it has some effects and stuff applied. As you can see, if I turn this off, that's before and after. But I wanna rig this thing up to where this shape layer to where it always stays the exact same size as my composition. For example, right now, if I do control K and try to change the size of my composition just slightly like this, you can see that the shape layer is kind of affecting a lot of things here. It's not copying a lot of the new area. Basically it didn't change in size, but my composition has. So how do I rig it up to where it's always the exact same size as my composition? It doesn't matter what I change in here. I want the shape layer to always be that size. So let me show you how to do this. I'm gonna control click on this triangle in here, and then I'm gonna select size and then hit S twice to solo it. Alt click to activate the expression. And so in here, I'm just gonna label my variable. I'm gonna say size X, and then I'll define that size X. I'll say this comp and then width. So basically I want for size X to be the width of my comp. For the next one, I'll say size Y. I'll do the same thing. Instead of a width, I'm gonna do a height. Okay, we're almost there. And then I'm gonna define them uh, in the square brackets. So I'm gonna say, all right, X, you're gonna be size X, and Y, you're gonna be size Y. So now if I let go, here's what happens. Nothing happens. But if I do Control K and see my settings in here, if I, if I increase the size of my composition, you can see that my shape layer is always staying the exact same size as my composition. So in the last example, we use a shape layer, but let me show you how to set up the exact same thing using a solid. So right now I have a solid in my composition. It is an adjustment layer. It has the exact same effects as before, but how do I make this solid stay the exact same size as my composition? And to do that, I'm gonna hit S to reveal the scale property and then Alt click on the scale and inside here, we're gonna type some expressions. So I'm gonna do again, size X, that's just a variable. And then in here, I'm gonna say 100 times this comp and width. So basically the width of this comp and then divide that by this layer width. So the width of this layer. So that's the first one. And the second, one, we're gonna do size Y and exact same thing, but slightly different. So 100 times and then this comp. And then this time we're gonna do height and then divide that by this layer height. And so now I'll just define them in the square brackets. So in here, I'm gonna say the X is gonna be size X, and then the Y is gonna be size Y. Okay, and now if I let go, nothing happens, but if I do Control K to bring up my composition settings, and if I change the size of my composition, you can see that it's adjusting to the size of my composition. So let me show you another useful example you can use this expression on. So right now I have this modular lower third kit in our composition. And by the way, you can purchase it at ukramedia.com slash shop. And in here, here's what I wanna do. So I want for this lower third to always have the same size and have the same position as I change the size of my composition. So right now, if I do control K and bring up the composition settings, and if I change the size, to let's say something like this, you can see that the lower third did not scale up with the composition. So how do I change that? So all you do is parent it to this adjustment layer and this adjustment layer automatically fits in size. So it will basically do the exact same thing to the lower third. So if I do control K and if I change the size of my composition like this, you can see that we are scaling in size, but the lower third is staying in the exact same position and size. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.